Now at noon, we are learning more about the two motor deputies who were killed in a horrific crash in western Palm Beach County. We also know more about the deputy who is now undergoing surgery and is stable but critical condition. The three deputies were on a traffic detail when a car slammed into them. Good afternoon, I'm Tiffany Kenny, and thank you for joining us for WPBF 25 News at noon. Just into our newsroom, we have learned that President-elect Donald Trump called Sheriff Rick Bradshaw last night offering his condolences. We continue our team coverage today. Stephen Graves is live from the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. Caleb Califano is live outside the St. Mary's Medical Center. But we begin with Stephen with more on the identities of the deputies and what led to this deadly crash. Steve, Stephen. Hey, Tiffany, yeah, I can tell you what, I've been out here all morning since around 4.30 in the morning and we've seen as the sun comes up, the flags behind me are lower to have staff right at seven in the morning as the sun came up here. The mood is very somber outside. We're seeing, I'm seeing a load of um, different vehicles go by me. We've seen that several times here while we're out at the sheriff's office. Helicopters overhead, people bringing flowers inside. I spoke to a worker who said the mood inside is just hollow. Not too many people showed up to work today. And you know, when we talk about those two Palm Beach County deputies who were killed and a third deputy we've learned is right now fighting for his life in the hospital. We'll have more on that in a second and also more of the questions about what led up to this crash and how the community is honoring these deputies who were killed. That is coming up much more on what we've learned as well about these deputies who have passed away. We've learned there are veterans. One was set to retire soon. That in a second, but Tiffany, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Right, Stephen, thank you. And taking a live look right now over Delray Beach, first morning meteorologist Sandra Shaw joining us. Sandra, it has been mm -hmm. a cold start to the day, but yes. here's the deal. It is going to get colder. It is. Tonight's going to be the coldest night and into tomorrow morning. You're going to be waking up in the 40s. Most likely many spots did hit the 40s this morning. We're still down anywhere from three to eight degrees area wide. So that's for your perspective. Yesterday wasn't terribly cold, but you know, the sun is out there full force today and it has jumped us up pretty decently this afternoon. So 64 in Sebastian now, 64 in Fort Pierce, you've got the mid 60s in Indian Town and Tequesta, 66 in Jupiter Farms. And wow, that's a magic number heading down through West Palm, Lake Worth Beach, Boynton and Del Rey this afternoon. And we're going to basically see the bottom drop out though tonight because after sunset, we're going to see clear skies. There's another front that's kind of reinforcing all this. So 41 Sebastian tomorrow morning, 40 in Felsmere, 43 Okeechobee, 42 Indian Town, 43 Stewart and Port St. Lucie, Lakewood Park, 42, 45 for Jupiter, 48 Riviera Beach, 46 in the gardens, 49 West Palm, 49 Lake Worth Beach, and maybe about 50, 51 down around Delray and Boca. Either way, you see how fast these temperatures tumble. We are looking at the impact situation, especially after sunset tonight. And then when you get up early tomorrow morning, and then we're only going to scrape our way up into the upper 60s tomorrow afternoon. More on all that with your seven day on deck. Back out here live at the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, where again, since the sun came up, flags were lowered to have staff here. We're right outside of where a memorial sits of the fallen deputies. We know two more names will be added to this monument behind me at some point to honor them. And the entire agency is made up of about 4,400 people at the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. I spoke to a few, one woman specifically who went inside. And again, she just told me that it's very somber inside. Uh, she works at the jail and she said some people didn't even show up to work today because understandably still dealing with this tragedy. Walking you through some of the details we know of this afternoon, three motorcycle deputies hit near Lion Country Safari. We brought you this as breaking news yesterday at noon. It happened yesterday morning though. Sheriff Rick Bradshaw says a woman was driving eastbound on Southern Boulevard just after 9 a.m. when she tried to pass another car overcorrected and striking all three of those deputies who were pulled over to the side of Southern Boulevard helping repair actually a dead battery on one of those motorcycles. Let's talk about now the deputies who died. Corporal Luis Paez, he was killed. He had been with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office since 1988. He began as a corrections deputy, worked his way up into the motor unit, and he has been a motor deputy for more than 20 years. We're learning he was close to retirement. Deputy Sheriff 
Ralph Butch Waller was also killed. He served on the motor unit for more than 18 years. He's been at the agency since 2008. And that deputy who is now still fighting for his life in the hospital, we've learned is Deputy Ignacio Dan Diaz. Again, in critical condition, he was in the ICU when Sheriff Rick Bradshaw spoke to us yesterday. And so we've also learned that he's went through um, another surgery. Listen to what the sheriff had to say though about this just impact of a tragedy. When a deputy dies, a piece of the community dies with him. Um, it's tough. And so I want to get to our Caleb Califano right now. Caleb, I know you've been talking to the sheriff's office all day. You're live outside of St. Mary's Medical Center. What can you tell us on the latest? Well, Stephen, the sheriff's office has told us earlier this morning that Deputy Dan Diaz is in stable but still critical condition. He also had another surgery sometime this morning. This all while we're learning more details about what happened with that crash yesterday. We do know, according to the FHP report, it states that at 929 yesterday morning, a gray 2019 Jeep driven by an approximately 31 year old woman from Pennsylvania slammed into the three deputies. The sheriff says they were doing traffic enforcement, but one of the deputy's motorcycles became disabled and the other two were helping him. The three were on the shoulder of the eastbound lane of Southern Boulevard. The traffic report states that the driver was approaching a slower vehicle, veered to the right to avoid that vehicle, and then lost control of her Jeep before hitting a guardrail and then striking the motorcycles and the deputies. She overcompensated, got off the road, and then struck all three of the motor officers, at which time all three went airborne uh, in different directions. Now we have asked the Florida Highway Patrol whether the driver will be charged, but as of right now, FHP has not responded to that question. And as I said before, Deputy Diaz is stable, but still in critical condition and did have another surgery earlier this morning. We'll keep you updated as we learn more about his condition. For now, we're live. Caleb Califano, WPBF 25 News. Caleb, thank you. And we know that driver of the other car that allegedly crashed into them suffered minor injuries, so we should get an update on that soon. We'll be looking toward that part of the story. Also, law enforcement agencies across our area, across the country really, have been sending their condolences in. But look, right here in South Florida, specifically when agencies across our area heard about what happened, they came to Palm Beach County to help in any way they could. Take a look at the scene yesterday as the bodies of Corporal Paez and Deputy Sheriff Waller were taken from St. Mary's Medical Center to the medical examiner's office. We spotted law enforcement from Palm Beach County, the Treasure Coast, Broward County as well. A sheriff's helicopter also conducted a flyover as the procession took place yesterday afternoon. Members of the public paused to reflect. And I started crying and I built down on one knee and prayed for the officers and their family. This is, now I'm starting to cry again. But it was sad, very sad. I mean, how can something like that happen? And we spoke with a Martin County Sheriff as well and Port St. Lucie Police Chief who say, look, when things like this happen, they never get easier to deal with. As a member of a law enforcement agency, even if it's your neighboring agency or one even in the state, you know, you, you can't help but understand what it is that that agency is going through having experienced it yourself. All the funerals I've been to and all the tragedies, but I, I'll say this one more time, cops are above all else resilient and resolute and we will go about doing our jobs no matter what. The Indian River County Sheriff Eric Flower shared this statement saying, quote, our hearts and prayers go out to the entire Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. He says he's been in contact with Sheriff Bradshaw to offer any resources his team may need. We know the sheriff was out of town at the time he spoke to us. Broward County Sheriff Gregory Tony also offering condolences in a statement saying, quote, our thoughts and prayers are with the deputy's families, friends, colleagues, and the entire community during this difficult time. The Secret Service also posting this statement on X last night calling PBSO extraordinary partners who support the agency every day. It goes on to say, quote, our hearts go out to their department and the officers' families during this devastating time. You know, state leaders also offered their condolences. Governor Ron DeSantis also posted a statement on um, his ex-account. You know, when we talk about this in remembrance of these 
these deputies we are told that funeral arrangements are still being looked into the sheriff talked about possibly having them as quickly as next week we'll of course keep you updated on that and then here as a sheriff's office dealing with some type of tragedy like this is just unheard of right but when we talk about the history of traffic related crashes here the memorial behind me has um, a deputy who died in 2007 that was the latest traffic related death while on duty and law enforcement is really calling on people to remember the move over law here in florida which requires you whether it is a first emerge first um, responding vehicle first responder vehicle or emergency vehicle yes you shouldn't move over but now that law has been expanded to tow truck drivers to anyone who's all also broken down on the side of the road. It's so important to remember that law. And when we talk about looking forward to this and possibly any charges for this driver, that can almost be certain that will be looked into as again, the driver is also recovering from minor injuries. And the sheriff's office here also has to deal with the tragedy of two deputies who are now dead. Tiffany, I'll send it back to you. All right, Stephen, uh, just so much to take in there. And um, thank you for your reporting this morning. Uh, the PBSO motor unit is tasked with a range of responsibilities, including traffic enforcement, traffic crash investigation, and assisting road patrol. They're called on to escort and provide dignitaries protection for presidential visits and to the various politicians and dignitaries. The unit also provides advanced civilian motorcycle training to sheriff's office employees and their family members twice a year. And the Palm Beach County Police Benevolent Association is doing a fundraiser for the families of the fallen deputies and the one fighting for his life. You can scan the QR code right here on your screen and it will take you to a charity fund. All donations will go directly to the deputies and the families. We do have complete coverage online with more on how these deputies are being remembered on WPBF.com. You can also download our free WPBF 25 News app to get alerts sent straight to your phone.